let's look at what we want to do is select the two boys here. So we can go down and we can use the object selection or quick selection tool. Either one of these will do the same thing. And you're going to see an object that says select subject. This uses the AI to make a selection and it recognizes, hey, there's, there's two people here and I want to copy this to a new layer. Control J, Command J will jump that to a new layer. Now, I'm going to show you a rookie mistake that a lot of people do. They go to blur the background. So we can choose filter blur. I'll just use a Gaussian blur. And this is, I mean, I did this all the time myself. And see how you get this nice blur. The background looks good, right? But there's a giveaway. See that dark halo? And see that light halo? Why are they there? Well, if you hide the layer you copied, you blurred these. And what it did is it expanded these. So you're seeing the blurring of the subjects. We don't want that. So I'm going to show you a little trick. Hit Control or Command and click on the top layer. Now we're selecting our boys and now we're going to hide them. Let me just undo this a couple of times. I want to revert that. Make sure we've got the unblurred version. Control click. Let's hide it so you can see what's going on. Now we're on the background. Now I want to expand this a little, just a little. So we go over so we're not having those edges exposed. So let's choose select. Everything to do with selections is under the select menu. And then we're going to choose modify and we're going to expand this. All right, so we're expanding it. Let's do about, I don't know, five pixels. And let's click OK. And this looks good. So I'm just kind of examining this, making sure that the selection is outside of their bounds. You can see a little edge there. That's perfect. That's what we want. Now, what I want to do is just fill them randomly. So I'm going to shift, shift Backspace. So the first thing we did is we made a selection. Then we expanded that selection and now we're going to fill it with content aware. So you can go under edit fill or I like to use shift backspace, which would be shift delete on Windows. Brings up the fill dialog box under contents. Choose content aware. Click OK. And it's going to apply content aware fill. And control D, invisible man. Awesome. Now, it doesn't matter what this looks like because we're not going to see this area. We're just going to see the edges. This is close enough. This is actually probably going to work fine. Let me show you the, the boys go down there. And if you had a problem with those edges, you could fill those separately. Or you could apply it again. But let's see how we go. We choose filter blur, Gaussian blur. Yep, look at that. Now we get the nice background blur without the halos on those edges. See that? gives us a nice clean background. Now notice it's not a perfect selection, but you know, this is just for a tutorial.